All right, here we go. Yeah, it's funny thing, though, in the red corner, I used to train with him a while back ago, so he comes to fight every time, so. Does it? Good to know. If he gets in there and fight, he'll bang it out with you. You know, he's not scared of contact, and not scared of going bluff for bluff. I love that. And you can see he's already got his forward pressure. Uh, Vinny looking good, long. Long and really utilizing that jab. Yep, he's sustaining that, you know, as his distance, you know, going against a shorter fighter, he's keeping the distance, maintaining what he needs to do, coming in with the feints, you know, the same simple one jab, one, two. Gavin seem, seeming to find his timing and his, and his range here. Yeah, you know, ever since I trained with him, you know, it takes, you know, like everybody knows in the fight game, you know, it takes a little bit, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, something like that, you know, to figure out a little movement on the person. But it seems like he's getting together now. So we're going to see what we're going to be in store for. Absolutely. And you're right. It takes time to figure out your timing, your range, your, your opponent's timing, your opponent's range. <laughs> Great job, like you said, putting that forward pressure on Vinny here. Yep, Vinny's, like I said, he's doing a good thing, keeping his distance, you know, moving, not just staying in the middle, playing 50-50. He's sticking the jab out and moving, you know, one-on-one -on -one basic boxing. Exactly, he's doing a great job with that jab, but he's only throwing one strike at a time, and I think that Gavin has is, is catching on to that and understanding he's just got to slip and move, and then he can he, he's in for his counters. Yep, that's right. Maybe he, you know, come with the one faint throw, one two, you know, just to throw Gavin off his game a little bit. Maybe that would work. But right now, as you say, he's coming forward with forward pressure. Gavin is, and as you see, he threw him the lead hook. Ooh. Oh, oh, great job by Vinny there. Nice combination by him. Yep. The hooks are money tonight <laughs> for him. Keeping the distance, keeping the jab, keeping the basics. Oh man. Great way to end that round. Gavin is not phased, though. He took some big shots, but he is not phased. And like you said, he does not stop his forward pressure. No, it doesn't stop. You know, like I say, it takes heart. And, you know, Gavin has done that from what I've seen of training with him. So, like I said, as you see, he doesn't like he's phased. You know, he's just like he's trying to catch his composer back. But, hey, you know, Navo, you know, you can't give it to him. He's keeping it basic, keeping the distance, seeing the shots, picking what he want to pick. He's not trying to get into a brawl. No, he's fighting very clean, very, very clean. And you're right, it, 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 he's doing a fantastic job of utilizing his movement and his feet to, to deal and nullify Gavin's forward pressure, because he does, he's got a lot of forward pressure. Yeah. We're gonna see what round two is in store now. Let's see if he adapt to it. shots. Yes. And you know, that's, that's the main thing you got to do. Bite your mouthpiece, put your chin down, and go for it. Especially if you're going against a taller fighter. I, I would like to see him utilize that jab to step in one or two. And maybe you need a faint and a jab to just get into his range where he needs to be. It's, it's very clear that Navarro has the reach advantage. Yes. And is utilizing it to the best of his ability as well. Is that as great as you can see? Ooh. Oh, beautiful body shot by Gavin. Like I said, both of them come to fight, as you can see. You know, uh -huh. as like I said, training with Gavin, he, he, he's a dog. He, yes. As you see, he's standing in the pocket going toe to toe. And taking big shots. Yes. Eating them. <laughs> nice right hand from Gavin there. I like both of their footwork. They're actually utilizing footwork very good, you know. I really like the way Navarro is utilizing his his frames and the inside work here. He, he's not keeping his hands wide. He stays nice and tight. He protects his body, protects his face at the same time on the exit. And that's, that's important, especially when you've got someone that's throwing big, heavy shots and coming forward yes. and closing that distance. Yes, and like you said, as you see, he's still keeping the basics, still throwing the jab out, coming over with the two, 
and just, you know, playing it safe. You know, he do got a dog on him. Um, and as you see throughout the rounds, Gavin's not going to stop coming forward. No, he's not. That was a close round. Yeah, that was a close round. But like I said, both of them come and fight, as you see. You know, hey, that's the only thing we see from here. So let's just see what round three have in store. Like I said, I like what both of them doing, both utilizing footwork. One using his jab, one using his aggression to get in. So, hey, you can ask nothing but, like, technical boxing right here. Absolutely. And I think Gavin has his confidence is coming, you know, in the second round, especially at the end of that second round, you could really tell his confidence is up. Um, and he walked back to his corner much more confident than he did coming out of that first round. Yeah. And like, you know, like, you know, being in the ring, you know, that first round, you know, you feel rested. That second, you start kicking everything else and getting, you start finding yourself more. So, hey, let's see what third round. Let's see what man finds each other first, and then let's see who comes out on top. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Let's see who makes the adjustment, like you said, Amen. coming into the second. He's utilizing, right now. now he's utilizing that jab now to come in now. Hmm. And Nato's coming forward with the forward pressure now. Yeah, he's doing a great job of, of coming over the top, finding finding sneaky little areas to come in, whether he's got to go under, over. Navarro's doing a great job of, of, of trying to find the target and working around the defense. Yeah, I mean, he's really utilizing going to the body, going to the body and coming back up top with that single jab. You know, that's really working, I can see. You know, it's helping him turn off the corner. So, like I said, both of these men got very good footwork from what I'm seeing. A great big, big jab from Navarro there. Oh, the left hook. Both men, you know, calm. They're not breathing heavy at all. They're staying composed the whole time. Fighting their fight. Yep. Both fighting their fight, taking the shots from each other, and continuing to stick to their fight. Yep. And that's what it is all about. Stick to your game plan. Ooh. Nice shot from Navarro. Oh, oh. Ooh, nice body shot. From both gentlemen, that <laughs> uppercut. Hey. Oh, nice little inside work. Short work here from Navarro. Ooh, nice footwork off the turnoff. And answered by Gavin. <laughs> oh my Ooh. goodness. Oh, geez, the uppercut. Yes, sir. The short work. Yes, sir. And the movement from Ooh. Gavin. I like it. I like it. I yes. like how both of them moving. Oh, wow. What a fight. <laughs> Both of these gentlemen put on a great performance yeah. here. It's a close one. This is definitely a close one. Yeah, this is a really good close one. Like I said, both men had good footwork. Both of them utilized their own game plan, and both of them kept moving forward. Not really a lot of back forward pressure. You know, they just played their game. Agreed, agreed. Let's see here. Let's see some of the action here. Beautiful inside work here from Gavin coming forward. Never stopped coming forward. Navarro just finding these beautiful little entries, these tiny little tight spaces to, to land body shots and uppercuts. It was a fantastic performance by, by both sides of this fight. Yeah, by both sides. And I really do like how both of them, like I said, utilize both of their own. Mm -hmm. yeah, like I've seen on the replay, Nato used that little short little movements to get in there to throw the body, body hook, come back to the head and spin off. And then, like I said, Calvin, you know, used his aggression. He knew he had to get in on the taller fighter. You know, he had not to play the distance game. So he surely did what he needed to do with throwing the 3-4, going to the body, going back up to the top, and using his footwork to get out of the way of danger. You hear this from the man, S.D. Dumas, who is making his debut on the Dana White Contender Series this, this next season. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Hey, like I said, man. Just gonna keep working. Even though I got that contract, still gonna keep working. It don't matter. So. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm very, very excited to see you in hey, there. Hey man, look, I was surprised to see you. I was like, oh, are they go pearl. I was like, oh, I'm about to go that day, so. <laughs> How's <laughs> camp going? Camp's going good. You know, like I tell people, I'm recovering right now. You know, doing the small things to get the nicks and nicks and pain out of the way. But besides that, 
I'm just ready to have fun and go in that ring again, you know. Oh, my goodness. We are so excited for you. We are looking forward to your debut. Hey, as soon as y'all watch, like I said, I just love everybody supporting me, you know, in the long run and from the short run. So just watch and be entertained because I got some new things in, in store. You know, it's going to have to be a fight. You guys hear that? He's got some new things coming for you. Let's. I got to, man. I got to. <laughs> Let's take it over to Chris. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action inside the ring, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the bout as follows. 30, 27, 30, 27, and 29, 28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, Vinny Navarro!